Kit Daniels, InfoWars.com, behind the camera in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And it's day four of the Democratic National Convention. The day Hillary Clinton will speak to the convention. Now, a major thunderstorm rolled into town this afternoon. And it's... <laughs> I find it oddly amusing that the day that Hillary Clinton is expected to speak, you have this like Wizard of Oz style thunderstorm that rolls into town. <laughs> so yeah, you have pretty soon we'll have the Wicked Witch of the West, Hillary Clinton. She's going to get America and its little dog too. But I also wanted to point out that the thunderstorm says more truth about Hillary than the mainstream media has done all week. Mainstream media has attempted to portray Hillary as sunshine on America, that she's going to recreate America's economy in something great and create opportunities for everybody. But Hillary Clinton is no different than Barack Obama. If you want to see what Hillary's America would look like, all you have to do is look back at the last eight years and make it a little bit worse. Not only the fact that she's starting from an already low position Obama and going even further down, but she'll also... I've talked to many Bernie people that agree with this, so I think she's a lot more evil than Obama. So I'll look at the streets here. What streets? Here. So yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, that's pretty. This is pretty much what Hillary's America will look like—a never-ending thunderstorm across America, a huge storm cloud of depression and gloom. So yeah, also I want to do a quick update. Uh, Paul Watson reported on this about a, earlier today about a Bernie delegate who was, actually I want to go this way, who said on camera that there was paid actors, crisis actors really, uh, being paid to fill seats at the DNC. And this, I want to, I'm talking about this because I, want, I had another interesting observation I made on Monday. I didn't think of much at the time, but look, a basement. But when Paul put out this article today, you know, it clicked in my head. I saw more people at the Michelle Obama speech that preceded the Bernie Sanders speech on Monday. There was no empty seats at the Michelle Obama speech. However, when Sanders came out to speak, you started seeing people leaving the speech, which to me at the time was really weird because it's like Bernie Sanders was the most popular Democrat throughout the presidential campaign. His inf he, inf he had far greater influence than Barack Obama, much less his, the first lady, Michelle Obama. So, you know, that's, it wouldn't surprise me if they paid actors to come in and sit at the Michelle Obama speech, especially since, like in that video I posted on Resistance News about how they were passing out Hillary signs to the press members in the press box. They had all these Michelle Obama signs too they were passing out to everybody. Which is a little weird. It's like, why would you... Well, it's hypocritical. Why would the Democrat Party... It's all about pollution and landfill waste, supposedly, be printing off all these huge Michelle Obama signs that are only going to be used once. I should have got footage of this, but I don't think I did in the chaos of leaving the event. But there's like piles of Michelle Obama signs in the trash. So it's just complete hypocrisy. And I'm not saying that establishment Republicans are not guilty of this either. I don't play two-party politics, but the Democrats, they tracked a lot of these hip hypocritical politicians that are really no different than mob bosses. So once again, this is Kit Daniels, InfoWars.com. Subscribe to the channel, the Alex Jones channel, <laughs> and also Resistance News on YouTube. Also check out InfoWars.com. We, we post 
all day we post videos and news reports on Infowars.com. So just keep checking back all throughout the day for more for more reports. And also check us out on Twitter, Real Alex Jones. Once again, this is Kit Daniels with Infowars.com.